Welcome back, I'm Emmy Lou, I'm an artist and I teach kids privately how to draw. Uh, we're going to do an elephant today and we're going to base it on the beautiful and amazing works of uh, David Shepherd again. David Shepherd is a conservationist and an artist and he used to draw from life, uh, which is an amazing thing to do. I went to Africa in February and I tried doing it and it was really quite difficult because the animals kept moving. Um, I'm in Vienna at the moment and I'll be in America in a couple of weeks so I'm going to be travelling the world and just showing you how to draw things from different apartments and um, just going out and getting inspiration for my own artwork which is brilliant, it's really cool to travel. So we're going to do an elephant today and all you need is a pencil, I've got a pen just so you can see what I'm drawing, and some paper again and maybe some chalk pastels might be quite cool because we're going to colour the elephant in. Um, so we're going to start now. We're just going to draw really, really carefully. Just take your time. If you don't understand something, just stop the video and just take it back. So all we need to do, first of all, is you need to do... There's your big piece of paper. That can be small or big, but big's better. Um, just because it's easier to colour in. So we've got landscape. This is landscape. And that way would be portrait. Think of it as though it fits on your face, it's portrait. But we're going to have it landscape, just so we can fit the whole elephant on. So the first thing you need is that side of the paper, you're going to draw the line. So we're just going to do a line like that. And it can be quite a wobbly line. So you're just going to do a line all the way down. So it's kind of like a little worm or a thread, just going all the way down. And then once you've done that, do this lightly because we might need to rub out, but you're just going to go kind of up like this. So just up like that. We're drawing the ear. Just here. So we're going to draw the ear and then we're going to go up, 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 and it's past that line. So you've started from there and you're going diagonal. And then you're going to go kind of a wobbly line. The wobbly line, the better, really, if you think about it. So we're just going to go across now, but we're going to go kind of like that. Not too much. Don't go across too much, because otherwise we'll have a real long head. <laughs> so we're just going to go a little bit like that. And then we're going to go down. So touch that bit there. And you're going to go diagonal down. Kind of like that. Once we've done diagonal down, you're just going to go for it. You're just going to go... La, la, la. It's the actual trunk that you're doing. So just make sure you do a twirly thing and it fits on the page. If it's gone off the page, don't worry. You can start drawing this with me and then for the next one, draw a different one. So get another piece of paper and plan it out better. It's, it's tricky to plan out things on your paper because when I was younger I used to sort of have something there or something there but you want the whole paper taken up really. So at the, at the top of the trunk, if you just do a ma, uh, if you can't do a ma because you've done the trunk like, you might have done the trunk that way, it's as in you might have done the line that goes so you could do that type of shape. So as long as it's a muh, shapish. And then you're just going to do like a snake. You're going to go follow the line, follow the line, follow the line. And then it gets bigger, 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 bigger stop. So you want to stop really when it hits that bit. If you can't quite see it and it's a bit difficult, don't worry. Just stop somewhere. As long as you don't join the ear up, then you're good. So once you've done that, you're just going to go down. Just down a little bit and then join it up like that. And then once you've joined that up, you just want to do lines. Because this is the bit that makes it look like an Ellie. I love Ellie's. Because I'm Emmy Lou, people call me L. Reminds me of an elephant, not that I look like an elephant. So we just carry on here. So then we've got some lines there. And then what we could do is make the ear look like a crisp. I just love food, so everything's sort of like food if we describe it, and also it's easier to familiarise yourself with, because if I say it looks like, I don't know, a different type of plant, you probably wouldn't realise, but if I say food, then we all love food. So we're just going to go round here, this is, the ears always kind of like, it kind of always looks 
not like it's smooth, the line. So if you just do that around the ear, that'd look cool. You don't have to rub anything out, so don't worry. And then you want to do the tusk. So the tusk can go about there. And they could be really quite funky and quite long. So you could just do, I just did a line there, just to make it look like that's where the tusk's going to go. And then you're going to go, whee! As long as you join them back up. So join them up. So it's a bit like a banana, but a pointy banana. So that'll look kind of cool. And then you want to do the other side of the ear, if you can. Now we could do the arm. Uh, I think it might look quite nice if the legs, the... Mm, we could draw the leg there. Quite like the leg there. And then you've got a bit of a boog. They've got massive legs, elephants, like massive legs. So you could do a line there to make the legs. So we started like that. And then we could just do for the tummy, just because it's going off the page. The elephant's going off the page. And then to make it look like he's a whole elephant, just touch that bit there and go, wee. I've just drawn on. Right, this is like a chunky elephant, but it's a good thing. And then we want a really cool eye. So any eye you like, really. And the eye is going to go roughly about there. So we're just going to go, I'm going to do rainbow. And then upside down rainbow. And then maybe I like to do some eyelashes. Like a girl one. Boys have got eyelashes as well. It's just when you draw them, it looks like a girl. So there's my eye. I think the eye would probably be further down um, in real life, but because I'm drawing it from the side, it's pretty tricky to see. It'd probably be about there. Do you know what? I'm going to rub it out. It's okay to make mistakes with art. I generally make mistakes quite a lot, but um, as long as we can rub it out, then it's cool. So I'm going to rub my eye out because it's not in the right place. but I'm not rubbing it with a rubber because I can't rub out ink pen. So I'm going to put masking tape on it. And I think the eye is going to go about there. So that's where my eye is going to go and I'm happier with that. So don't be scared to do alterations if it doesn't look right in your picture. It's fine to rub out. It's not a bad thing to rub out. Just remember that. Um, we're going to draw some more lines because if you think about it, an elephant's wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly. So try and do some lines here and some lines there. And you can do the other tusk if you like, but it might look a bit strange because it's all the way on the other side. So I think I'm going to maybe leave it out just for now. Or should we put it, put it in? We could put it in, I suppose. I just want you to be happy with it, really. So there's the other tusk in the background. So it's coming from the other side. So we've done the elephant now, and we're going to colour it in. We're going to colour it in. I think it would be quite nice to do grass, or we could do hills. But let's just do some grass again, just so you can get used to doing grass. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So, we're going to take a light grey with the chalk pastels. Whew, the reason why I'm signing is it's very warm in here. It's, again, about, well, it's about 34 degrees. And I've had to close the windows to do this video. Whew, so, bear with. So, we're just going to do dark, uh, light grey, light grey, all here. And don't be scared to... Um, you can be a little bit quick, but don't rush it in the sense of getting messy. I'm just doing it quick to show you. So there's my grey. I'm going to get one little finger. So it depends if you're left or right handed, but as long as there's one finger, then it's good. And we're just going to smudge away. It's called blending. So you want to blend these colours together. You'll be lucky because you won't have masking tape where the eye is. Looks like he's got a bit of a eye patch on, doesn't it? So, there's where we're smudged. And then we want to take, a black would be cool. 
So take a black and you're just going to outline the bubbly bit of the ear. So just the bubbly bit of the ear. Outline that. And you're going to go round all of the lines of the Ellie. Whoa. <laughs> the elephant. And be patient with this because, unlike me, <laughs> it does look good when it's you've taken time. So all your pencil lines. Okay. Now it would look quite cool if you could um, just outline the tusk. Whoa. Do it as neat as you can. Right now. This is the fun bit, I love this bit because it just makes it look really cool. We're just gonna get one little finger and we're just gonna draw over the line. And it's okay if you do it like you're taking your finger for a walk. So you're taking your finger for a nice walk. Try not to color the tusk in. Look at my elephant. So there's your elephant, but really it would be kind of cool if you get a dark grey, which I don't obviously have, which is nice, or get another colour, couldn't you? I might get a brown, I've got a, I think I've got a dark brown. This one's kind of a blacky grey, um, just going to show you the box actually. This is, um, this is what I'm using, just because there's, I think there's 48 colours in there and it's just awesome because you could just like you know color forever um you can fix it with hairspray because it's cheaper and it's easier to do hairspray because most people have hairspray so you want to do a bit of shadow really so shadow is when something's darker um because it the light's not shining on it so we're just gonna do a little bit of shadow there maybe a little bit of shadow on his ear put a shadow on his eyes Right, so that's a bit of shadow because when the light comes down from the top, it only hits the top, so it doesn't really hit the bottom. So we're just going to smudge that in. Things look more realistic when you put shadow. Or tone. Tone or shadow. Okay, so there's your Ellie. He looks kind of funky. I quite like him. So the grass, I think it'd be quite nice to do a different colour grass. I'm getting a little bit messy. Uh, I always get messy when I do art. Um, so we're going to do, I'm going to take an orange and a brown. This is a yellow and a cream, but never mind. So yeah, whatever. I'm going to do this and this. And we're going to just do yellow, because if you think about it, in Africa and in India, the um, plains, as in the, the landscape's quite dry. Not always, but probably not that dry anymore. And then we're just going to get one finger and we just smudge it. Okay, so we could do that type of grass and also for the sky it'd look amazing if you did like a red, like a reddy sunsetty sky is really cool. So you could just do all red if you like. You could do all red for the background, you could do a bit of pink. You know, you could have a really cool kind of savannah background. Savannah's in the um you know, in the African open plains. So you can have a really cool background. It's not that cool at the moment, the way I've done it, because my fingers are black, so you might want to wash your hands and then smudge when you finish um, the elephant. And then when you do the background, you can start again. Because what I've done is I've mixed in a bit of my red with my black, and it's come out quite, quite dark, which is not really what you want if you want a beautiful, bright sky. So yeah, all of that could be your background. So there's your elephant. I'm quite liking my elephant to go with my giraffe. I'll have a whole zoo in a minute. Um, so next week we're going to do, I think we're going to do a lion's really cool. We'll do a lion and then you could have like an elephant, a lion, a giraffe. You can have them all on your wall. You can also put them in like a project. You could cut them out if you wanted to and you could kind of put them in a jungle or in some weird background it doesn't have to be exactly where the animals live um, so there's your elephant if you like the video like and share put some comments if you want me to draw something 
And um, like I said before, I think I said it in my first video, I've got holiday workshops in, Sept in uh, I said September, in the summer holidays in St Albans in England. So if you'd like to sign up, go to emmyluart slash kidsworkshops. Alright, then I shall see you soon to do the lion.